Sheldon Nidal's update. August 2, 2016. Sheldon. Salamat Balak. All is coming into view. The key is the new American currency. It is being printed and accounted for by the new Department of the Treasury. These precious metal-backed monies signal that this hemisphere has joined the East. This money is to set up the first stages of a global revaluation that is to be the foundation for a new and fairer banking system. Prosperity requires that these safely secured funds be the stable foundation for this surface world's prosperity. It is this prosperity that is to successfully fuel a new worldwide reality. Many amazing inventions, long sequestered by the ancient regime, are to be released for numerous revolutions in healing and in a worldview that is no longer appropriate for humanity. Our desire is to aid this growth by at times letting you know how best to expand these new technologies. Our expertise and guidance can permit you to attain your desires quickly. The main purpose here is to help you to discover how the universe really works, and in learning its amazing electrical origins, to alter how you perceive your reality. You are starting to enter an electrical reality known briefly by your ancestors. Electricity was important to the people of both the Western and Eastern Hemispheres. Most importantly, the electrical creation of this universe was something that was well known by most societies like the Egyptians, Mayans, and Sumerians. The ancient texts of India and China even documented some of the wonders and catastrophes that were so casually created. These marvels were shut down when your ancient sky masters hid this knowledge from you some 3,000 years ago. The Anunnaki believed that these devices were countering what they intended you to know. Many ancient cultures thus have myths mentioning that these devices were taken from you and the whole of this sacred wisdom suddenly hidden from you. Hence, it was nearly two millennia before some of this wisdom was permitted to be returned to you. At present, you stand at the point where you were more than two millennia ago. Your growth in these areas is now to be supervised by the Ascended Masters, and by us. It is vital that you start to see this realm in new ways. The old, dark order desperately wants to force you back into the ways of hate, division, and derision. However, their specially constructed false flag operations have failed to work as they had previously. We realize how difficult it is to be conscious of this violence and still remain calm. The dark has operatives who are trained in events that enforce a deep inner resentment. It is this building resentment and growing sense of powerlessness that it is hoped can finally induce what the dark deeply wants, some type of military action. So far, you have forged a reality that uses its growing consciousness to resist a deep and angry response. This continuing delayed reaction is allowing our allies to ready a course of events that can at last alter these grave scenarios. Every day such a violent reaction can be delayed makes it possible for new governance to appear and thoroughly change this set of unwieldy and potentially dangerous sequences. The time for these most welcomed changes is approaching. Your world is now at the very top of a cycle that has taken a long time to manifest. Those who are ready for the events that muster in a new realm realize how these moments need to be done right and with a rapidity that can prevent any potential miscalculations. It is often easy to move prematurely. The very nature of regime change begs the need to be swift, silent, and precise. No amount of doubt is to be entered into at the chosen moment. Those in charge of these events know this, and have created a special set of moments designed to work rapidly when engaged. It is often vital that these critical events first produce the required momentum. Such a time is beginning to appear. It is forming just as it was predicted by our allies and by us. Those who have followed the events of the past few months realize that the right time is near. A few more things need to happen on time to properly spring the trigger. This is a very special moment that only a few understand. Numerous operations are to be coordinated and then a whole new set of perceptions is to come online. Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessings! We are your Ascended Masters. This reality is changing presently for the better. Our associates have diligently worked to prove beyond doubt that this world is based on a number of falsities and outright lies first implanted in humanity by the Anunnaki some 8,000 years ago. Before that, humanity was virtually sacrificed by these same Anunnaki whenever they believed their charges had greatly disobeyed them. After the Great Flood, 
humanity was simply left on its own and nearly perished in a series of wars and mindless disputes. Those left alive forged a technology that created great empires and a reality that was always on the brink of its utter destruction. This special civilization was in constant deterioration and its remnants are the societies in Egypt, Sumeria, India, and China that you know today. Offshoots of these societies can be found, as well in the Western Hemisphere and throughout the Pacific Basin. You are the ones we have watched over for these 8,000 years. Many of your ancestors perished in the wars that we alluded to in the last paragraph. Humanity has a history that needs to be told in full. Each of you is a sacred soul that heaven carefully cultivated. Use your great, untapped powers to come together and apply your powers collectively to aid this grand process that is preparing you for a return to full consciousness. At certain times each ascended master was picked by heaven to assist you in this growth from mortal to immortal being. Understand how the dark still uses its diminished powers to delay this sacred operation. Be prepared to know that this time can be compared to the chrysalis of a butterfly. A number of key stages are required. The last of these is to be accomplished in the crystal light chamber. In this sacred, living entity you are to return to the being that you were in ancient Atlantis, and who you were as a new colonist in Lemuria. Creating this new type of you is vitally important to heaven, and to us. Many times in your past you nearly perished or were punished by the then dark Anunnaki. You survived because you have a most glorious destiny given to you graciously by heaven. This time, despite all that is still happening to you, know that you are on the very eve of a new era. You are to meet your ancestors from around this galaxy and those who live in inner earth, Agartha. Ahead of you are truly miraculous times. Things that you vaguely remember are to reappear giving you the wherewithal to enter into a new age filled with prosperity and immeasurable inner joy. We are privileged to be able to be the ones who are assigned to lead you to final success. Much is expected of each of you. The time for garnering these great heavenly gifts is at hand. We salute you and know that our reunions are ready to manifest. Today, we have reviewed what is occurring around this world. As you can see, this is really a time of miracles and wondrous actions. Do not let the minor final delays discourage you. No, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it Salamat Gajan. Salamat Jah. Syrian for B1, and be in joy.